What's good, y'all? It's Will Ross back at again with another video. So, we got to talk about Bronson Reed, man. These past few weeks on Monday Night Raw, they have been booking this guy like a legitimate monster. And it's great to finally see WWE creative use him in a way that is actually, I guess, effective and has people talking about him. He's been on the roster for the past few years, and when Bronson Reed would come out before what they've been doing with him now, he kind of wouldn't really get any type of reaction. Not to say that he hasn't had some great matches with people, but the reactions were more or less like, meh. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it wasn't like complete silence, but people weren't just jumping out their seats when Bronson Reed's music hit, you know, and you you kind of felt like with his backstage promos, like, yes, he may sound menacing and he may look physically imposing, but you didn't really too much, I guess you could say, take him seriously or care because he hadn't been in any real feud where it was like, hey, Bronson Reed's the next guy up. Like, they would push him a little bit, but he would ultimately end up falling back down the card. And I think these past few weeks, they have done something with him where now he feels like a dangerous person, like a threat. He's feeling more like a top heel. And I love how it just simply started with him last week saying he need Adam Pierce needs to find him someone to face. He needs to get him into some type of action. Adam Pierce really wasn't trying to listen to him. And that's when he said, you know what? I'm going to take matters into my own, my own hands and decided to pack up Seth Rollins and send him to the gulags. And the way he did it last week was really impressive because he didn't have to put him through his, a table. He didn't have to use a steel chair. He didn't have to use steel steps, nothing. He just used his own finishing move, the tsunami, over and over and over and over if you guys remember the crowd last week was chanting holy shit because they're seeing a top guy get squashed by a guy that they've been somewhat using, but it's believable because of look how big Bronson Reed is. He just spammed his finisher over and over and over and over and over. And the crowd was like shocked by it and all the added added extra, you know, referees and officials trying to break things up it was chaos but it worked and then for them to backdoor and do the same thing again this week but this time with a another beloved baby face in in uh our truth was even great it's even greater in my opinion i think it was really shocking what they did to seth and seth selling with the blood and stuff coughing up blood here and there but with this this worked out even more in Bronson's Reed's favor because I think if the Miz would have got squashed multiple times, I think people wouldn't have really cared. I mean, people would have cared. It would have been a cool moment, but it wouldn't have hit as much in the sense of, you know, people like the Miz and respect the Miz, but we know our truth is really beloved. But when our truth was getting packed up, you, you could tell it, it, it hit a little bit different. Granted, of the crowd in Austin, Texas, they just wanted blood. So they said, hey, go back, do it one more time. And the crowd was getting behind him. He's getting over. He's getting over using his move. Simple as that. He's getting over. And it's working. He destroyed our truth He destroyed Seth Rollins. And hopefully they continue this on. Hopefully next week on Monday Night Raw, he destroys somebody else. I believe uh, Adam Pierce was like, yeah, he's going to be fined and suspended. I would have him show up to the show and cause chaos still. And I think where they could go, and at some point we probably will get, whenever Seth comes back, the reports are, you know, that they use that angle to kind of, you know, allow Seth to heal up with some nagging injuries. So we may see Seth maybe come back, maybe not back at Bash of Berlin, but maybe towards bad blood, we can see something like that happening. But I would like to see some point down the road, Bronson Reed versus Braun Breaker. Because Braun Breaker essentially did the same thing. It wasn't 
you know, he wasn't spamming his his finishing move over and over and over, but he essentially did the same thing. Braun Breaker had gripes not being in the King of the Ring tournament, and he was talking to Adam Pierce. Adam Pierce kept kind of blowing them off, so he took matters into his own hands and started attacking people and destroying people. He put he put Ricochet through a goddamn windshield. And he ultimately ended up getting what he wanted. And now he's your new Intercontinental Champion. So he pretty much, you know, Bronson Reed did the same thing that Braun Breaker has did. And I do think that would be a nice little story they could tell. Maybe not right now, but maybe they can build up to it. I know you typically don't want to put two heels with each other, against each other. But I think this can work because... Braun Breaker's starting to get over. He he actually is getting more over, you know, with the whole crowd doing the dog noise. Woo, 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 woo. Like, they're getting behind him week in and week out because he's a legit guy that's going out there beating the crap out of people. And the same thing with Bronson Reed. They're doing the exact same thing. Coming out here squashing people with the tsunami every single week and it's getting over. It's very simple. That's why I say you could do a... Bronson Reed versus Braun Breaker later down the road. And if there's anybody that you would try to build up to beat Braun Breaker, you could do that. I'm not saying anytime soon, but I'm saying it I don't think anyone would trip if they kept Bronson Reed's momentum to be one of the guys to maybe beat Braun Breaker. And like I said, that's not right now. I do think his immediate real big feud will be with Seth Rollins. Now, the question is, do you have Seth Rollins win the feud? Do you have Bronson Reed win the feud? I think maybe you could possibly have Seth put over Bronson Reed at some point. They may make a, a, a series of matches out of this, which I do think they should. I don't think it should be a one and done because we know Seth is a top guy. And this can help Bronson Reed get even more over with working with a top guy and trying to establish himself as someone as a very big threat on Monday Night Raw, other than just someone that's huge, you know? So I do think they can make a program out of it, which I'm I'm sure that's probably the direction they're going to go with as soon as Seth comes back. But I do think that, you know, you give him some real noticeable, real good wins over some top guys or mid to top guys on the Raw side of things. I do think at some point, maybe you go ahead and pull that trigger and have him go against Braun Breaker and you can have them have, you know, a series of matches because, you know, that's going to be a car crash waiting and the fans are going to want that. So, like I said, I don't think it should happen now, but later down the line, Braun Breaker versus Bronson Reed for that IC title. I think that would be what fans would uh, really enjoy. And that all depends on if they keep the momentum of Bronson Reed. The fact that I'm making a video about Bronson Reed in 2024 as being one of the, the the newer top heels on Monday Night Raw, that's crazy. It it took them a while to get something going with him, but they got something with him. All they have to do is keep capitalizing. Because now people are going to want to see who is Bronson Reed going to destroy next. The same thing they did with Bron Bron Breaker. People. We're saying that was the highlight of Monday Night Raw a few weeks back. Like, seeing Braun Breaker just destroy people, they wanted to see that. And we're not even talking about just regular enhancement talent. We're talking about legitimate stars or top guys or mid-card, uh, upper-card guys, guys that you, you're familiar with. He's packing them up. I think we may get that same formula with Bronson Reed, and it can work. And that's the thing about wrestling. Some may say, oh, that, that formula, it's, you know, you know they've already done it with Braun Breaker. They need to do something different. No. If it works, use it. Capitalize on it. And you can build something off that. So, hey, I love what they're doing with Bronson Reed. It's really dope of him packing people up with the tsunami. And if they, they play their cards right, they can have another monster heel on Monday Night Raw. Monday Night Raw. They're cooking up with some top heels right now. They, they're they doing some good stuff with the heels they have on that side of things. So, um, Bronson Reed may be on his way up the, the, the WWE ladder if they continue to use him the way they have been. So, comment down below. Let me know. 
Have y'all been enjoying what they've been doing just recently with Bronson Reed, him packing up uh, Seth Rollins the way he did and R-Truth? And also, if they do continue to keep using Bronson Reed this this same way and, and really pushing him, would y'all be in favor to see a Bronson Reed versus Braun Breaker for the IC title later down the line? Like, I don't know, maybe at towards next few months if possible, maybe towards the end of the year. Who knows? Would y'all be okay with that? And honestly, would y'all be okay if they made Bronson Reed be one of the people to beat Braun Breaker? Or should it be somebody else later down the line? And I'm not, these are not instant situations. So I don't want to like type in, oh, it's too soon. No, I'm talking about they continuously build this guy up to be a real credible threat and to be going for a championship, most likely the IC title. Do y'all think? It wouldn't do y'all think it would be a good idea to have Bronson Reed be maybe one of the guys to dethrone Braun Breaker? Just throwing it out there. But I appreciate all the love support y'all showing on channel Road to 150k. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See y'all next one. Peace.